Are your writing dreams sitting on hold? Start thinking about self-publishing. Now I chose this title because I have worked with so many writers over the years who are stuck in a never ending holding pattern with their writing dreams because they feel so stuck about publishing. That's the big question. What should I do about publishing? How should I publish? Should I look for a traditional publisher? Should I consider self-publishing? The sad thing is I find a lot of writers still have blocks around self-publishing. Back in the day, a few years ago, these blocks used to come up because a lot of writers felt like they wouldn't be as respected if they went the self-publishing route and they wouldn't get the marketing help that they really wanted and needed if they went the self-publishing route. I think because of the recent changes in the past few years around self-publishing and around putting books out online, a lot of writers realize now they're not going to get that marketing help from a traditional publisher automatically. In fact, they might still have to do a lot of their own marketing. And that self-publishing is a very respected way to go. So the blocks these days that writers are experiencing from what I can see from working with hundreds of clients is that writers really feel intimidated by all the different self-publishing options out there. There is a mountain of information on the internet and it can be very difficult to sort of sort through all of this information, come to a starting point and figure out what you really need to do to get started. So this is why a lot of writers get stuck in this should I self-publish loop. Now publishing can be confusing with all of the different options out there nowadays. And you might've thought about self-publishing, but like I said, it feels like a mountain of information and it feels really hard to figure out. Another block that might be standing in the way is that you've heard it's expensive. I hear this from writers all the time. I worked with someone a couple months ago and she said, I heard it costs $10,000 to self-publish a book. Is that true? And I just nearly spit out my coffee and I said, no, that's not true at all. It does not cost $10,000 to self-publish a book. You can do it for much, much less and you don't need to be intimidated by costs. You can have a very tight budget and still self-publish your book. The other part of this is that it's hard to know these days um, where to get trustworthy information about all of this. The woman who asked me, is it true that it costs $10,000 to self-publish a book? Well, she got that information from a friend of hers who did take a very expensive route and it did cost that friend that much. So that was all the information she had. And when she looked around online, she found a lot of companies that charged an arm and a leg for self-publishing. So that seemed to reinforce this belief she had in place. This is gonna be super, super expensive. Nobody ordinary can do this unless you have a big chunk of money. So when you have all of these sorts of blocks where it feels like a mountain of information, it feels really overwhelming, it's probably really expensive and the costs seem intimidating, this results in publishing feeling like it's a big impossible thing that you won't ever figure out. And so your dreams sit on hold while you stay confused. It does not have to be this way though. I can tell you it does not have to be with it this way. I've talked with so many clients and when they've gotten brave enough to bring these questions to me in sessions and say, hey, I think I really wanna self publish, but I'm really scared. I'm scared I won't have the money. I'm scared I won't be able to figure it out. I'm scared there's too much information. What do I do? When I start showing them, hey, there's this solution right here, or this is easier than you thought it would be, or this is actually a very simple process, the look of relief on their faces and the feeling of freedom they have of, oh, okay, I can do this. There are a few things to figure out, but it's not as hard as it seems. This is, if you feel this way, you need this kind of help because you need clarity. That is what's happening here. You're so confused, you don't know which way to go. You don't know which option to take. And so you're not taking action on getting your book out there. You're not taking action on your writing dreams because you don't have the clarity you need. I created my newest class opening in just a few days. It's called Write, Publish, Market Your Nonfiction Book to help bring this exact kind of clarity to writers. We're gonna be looking at all of this kind of stuff in the class. We're gonna be learning about finding the easiest way to self-publish, figuring out and cutting costs. So if you have a very tight budget, or if you just don't want to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on self-publishing your book, there is a way that you can come up with a strategy to keep costs down. 
we're also going to be learning about the technical nuts and bolts of the whole process. So what does the back end of the Amazon Kindle publishing platform look like? What do you actually have to do? What do you actually have to upload? What do you actually need before you can publish your book? Where do you get these things? Where do you purchase the things you need? Where do you figure out how you can do some of the things on your own so you don't have to purchase these things and add to your costs? We're gonna be covering all of this in the class. If this sounds like it's something for you, if you have been dreaming of writing a nonfiction book, maybe a memoir or a healing journey book, a self-help book, some sort of workbook, something that will help people, this is the class for you. You will learn the entire process beginning to end, writing the book, publishing the book, and how to market the book. I'm also gonna start a Facebook group. I'm gonna keep that Facebook group open. Hopefully we're all gonna form a small community where we can come together, we can ask questions, we can support each other, we can give each other a little bit of marketing help down the road once our books start rolling out, and we can really get to know other writers. And this whole publishing, marketing, writing a book thing won't seem so scary. So if this is really speaking to you, please make sure you sign up for my newsletter so you get all the updates and announcements on when the class opens, and please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Even if this particular class isn't speaking to you, I tend to do videos on intuition, creativity, intuitive writing, personality theory, INFJ writers, INFP writers, bunches of good stuff. So if this is speaking to you in any way, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. My next video, we're gonna be talking about marketing and why marketing can be so scary for writers. I'll see you then.